If you've ever watched Zexro play, you've probably noticed how ridiculous his accuracy is. Even in a game like Fortnite, where Bloom is prevalent, he still manages to show off and use his insane aim to his advantage. Now, how did he get so good at aiming? The answer is simple. He grinded Kovacs. Kovacs is an FPS aim trainer that you can buy in the Steam store for $10 that's actually on sale now for 6 If you ask any Fortnite pros, there's a good chance they use Kovacs daily. Kovacs has tons of different games that focus on every aspect of aiming from tracking and long range accuracy to quick flicks and 180 close range aim. There are specific courses that I will go into depth into later in the video that translate extremely well to different situations in Fortnite. So trust me when I say this, that the $10 to buy Kovacs will be worth every dollar. So before I get to which games you should practice, I'll show how to set up your Fortnite sensitivity in the best settings within Kovacs. The first thing you want to do is click Game Options and Weapons, then make sure Hide Weapons is checked. After that, go to Video Options and put in the resolution you use for Fortnite. So if you're playing Stretched, choose the res you're using. After that, put the game in full screen and go to the main options. Set your FOV to 80 and FOV measurement to clamped horizontal if you're using native res or anything stretched, like 1444 by 1080, 1600 by 1080, etc. Only if you're playing on an ultra wide monitor where your res is something like 2060 by 1080 will you use 80 FOV and a horizontal for FOV measurement. If you're unsure, just ask me in the comments which FOV measurement to use and I'll be sure to help you out, but 99% of you will use 80 FOV and clamped horizontal. So now onto your sensitivity settings. There are two different ways to get your Fortnite sense within Kovacs. If you look at the drop down menu for sensitivity scale, you will see Fortnite slider and Fortnite config. The easiest way to get your sense is through Fortnite slider. In the horizontal sensitivity, just put your X in game sense for Fortnite. So if you play on .08 in game sense, you'll just put .08 for your sensitivity. If you play on a different vertical sensitivity, which would be your Y sense, you'll have to uncheck the box next to vertical lock to horizontal sense. The only downside is that while this is close to your Fortnite sensitivity, it won't be 100% accurate because Fortnite actually lies to you about your exact sense. This happens because the sliders used on Fortnite have decibels and not whole values if you use your mouse to change your res instead of arrow keys. In order to get your exact Fortnite sensitivity in Kovacs, you'll need to download a client settings program which I will leave a link to in the description. After you download it, you'll need to extract it using WinRAR or 7-Zip, which will make a new folder for the file on your computer. You'll then open the new folder and run Client Settings Program. Now here is where we import your personal Fortnite settings to get your exact values. So there's also two ways to do this part. The first way is to press File and Open, then input the command which I will leave in the description. This should bring up one folder. If it brings up more than one, sort through them until you find ClientSettings.save, which is what you will open. The other method to import your settings requires you to log into your Epic account, so instead of pressing File Open, you'll press File Import on the File tab. Both methods should give you your exact settings, which you should then see on your screen. Now you'll go back into Kovacs and change your sensitivity scale to Fortnite Config instead of Fortnite Slider. Then copy and paste the Mount Sensitivity X and Mount Sensitivity Y from your Client Settings program into Kovacs after you change it to Fortnite Config. So now we finally have our exact Fortnite sensitivity into Kovacs. The last thing we need to do is get our ADS sensitivity. So what I do for this, and what Kovac himself recommends, is when you're using ADS sensitivity is to only change that sensitivity for ADS games, which require it, such as Ascended Tracking V2 and other tracking games. Go to the game options and down to weapon options and click on the weapon name. For Ascended Tracking, that should be Alcove Tracker. And if you're playing the Fortnite tracking game, it should say Fortnite AR. Now scroll down and click on the box to override your sensitivity only for these specific ADS game situations. Again, change this to Fortnite config and go back to the client settings file and take the targeting slow sensitivity and then multiply it by each mount sensitivity for value X and Y. Then input these values into the weapon settings sensitivity and you'll be able to use your ADS sensitivity for this game. By the way, for those confused, ADS stands for aim down sight. This is the speed of your crosshair when zoomed in while right clicking on your mouse or pressing L2 or LB on your controller. After all this, we can finally get to training. The game I recommend most is Ascended Tracking V2. The game is simple, destroy the red moving targets as quickly and accurately as possible. This game will improve your tracking instantly, as on each different level, the red targets move faster or slower and have different movement patterns. When I first began playing, my tracking was subpar, I was scoring anywhere from 4000 to 5000. I've been putting in about an hour every day for about 2 or 3 weeks or so, and now I can consistently score 9 to 10,000, with my highest score 11.1000.
This puts me in the top 250 scores in the world for Ascended Tracking. Now, this probably sounds like a weird paid advertisement, but I swear to you, it's not. I've just had so much success in Fortnite due to Kovacs practice that I wanted to make a tutorial about it and help you guys out. What's also great about Kovacs is there's a global leaderboard to see how you stack up against other players, including professional Fortnite players you may look up to. Every match shows you your accuracy, efficiency, score, and high score to help you track your progress. Another game to play is the highest rated game in Kovacs, Tile Frenzy. This is the typical aim training game you'll see. Three red blocks are always on the screen, and as most games, your aim is to destroy them as quickly and accurately as possible. Since unlike Ascended Tracking, which uses your ADS sensitivity, Tile Frenzy will use your in-game sense, so it should feel much faster and will help you improve your shotgun aim and flicks. What I find even more helpful than Tile Frenzy is a variation called Tile Frenzy 180. This game is much more applicable to Fortnite shotgun scenarios, as you're able to go 180 degrees around, as the name implies. What's even more helpful is you can get the crosshair for the Fortnite shotgun and use it while playing this game. To do this, go onto Steam and right click on Kovacs under your game tab. Then click on Properties and go over to the Betas tab. Then click and opt into the public beta. Now go back to Kovacs and under the Weapon Game option, you can change your crosshair to the exact same crosshair as the shotgun in Fortnite. While these three games are the ones I'd recommend the most, some other games I play are Ascended Tracking Fortnite AR, Ascended Tracking V3, Tile Frenzy 180 Flick, and Jumbo Tile Frenzy. As a last tip, you can also change the color of your background of the game, your crosshair designing color, the color of your hit marker, and the target itself. You can fiddle around with all these options until you find the one you like best. Overall, I definitely recommend Kovacs. If you're on console, unfortunately you won't be able to play Kovacs, but if you check my last video, I showcased a map in Fortnite Creative that's very similar to Kovacs that you can play for free in Fortnite Creative. So if this video helped you guys out, please leave a like and subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.